Hi, welcome to SimTitan1's Gaming and Tech Talk. Today I am going to be showing you my thrift store finds that I found a few hours ago. It's really nothing too crazy, but it's stuff I've been looking for for quite a while, and I'm really glad to have found it. So first of all, I did get a few movies. Get them out of the bag. So I found Event Horizon. Disc is in good shape. Everything should be in good shape. The first store I go to really checks and makes sure everything's in good condition. I got Dunkirk. This one's actually still sealed. The Matrix Trilogy. This one's not sealed. Let's just double check the discs really quick. Yeah, it looks like it's brand new. Probably only watched once and then just put away. And then Matrix Reloaded and Matrix Revolutions. And then Pulp Fiction. Also looks really good. And then normally I don't get DVDs anymore, but this is a movie I have yet to see, 2001 A Space Odyssey, and everything I've heard about it says it's a very good movie and that I really should watch it. So for $2, why not? Looks like it's in really good condition. And this is the one I'm most excited for. I got the Alien Anthology. They were originally asking $30 for it, but they actually gave it to me for $8. It's in really good condition. The back artwork is unfortunately peeling up a little bit. I have yet to see Aliens. I've only seen the first Alien movie. I'm looking forward to watching the other ones, so I can get it out. So it's actually in a cool little book. All the movies are inside. They're all Blu-rays. And then some special features discs. Yeah, I really can't wait to start watching these. Now there is one more thing I have to show you. It's pretty big, so if you give me a moment, I'll do a jump cut. Okay, next I have a Gold Star DVD VCR combination unit. I paid $25 for this. No clue if it works or not, but the thrift store said if it doesn't work, I can bring it back for a full refund. So I don't think it's that big of a risk. Um, I haven't put a tape in it or anything. The only thing I tried at the thrift store was putting a DVD in, which seemed to work. I do have a test tape handy. So let's plug this in and let's see if we can get some smoke out of it. Alright, it's on. And uh, no clue what it's going to do. Uh, let's see. Hopefully it doesn't eat my tape. Uh. That's not really a good sign now, is it? Let's try that one more time. Oh, there we go. Let's 
things are working. Oh, yeah, it wasn't play mode. Let's see if I can get it to fast forward. Looks like it's working. Let's see if I can eject without having to eat the tape. That was the wrong eject button. Let's try that one more time. Oh, it didn't eat the tape. I don't see any damage to the film. That was weird how it got stuck the first time, so let's give that another go. It might just need a good cleaning. Huh. Yeah, it is working. It's a little bit weird how it doesn't show a counter. Usually every VCR I've seen it does at least show a counter. I might need the remote to do that. Let's switch on to the hi-fi track. Alright. So, let's do stop. Rewind it to the end. Make sure the auto stop works. So most likely I'm going to be doing a separate video just about this, hooking it up to a TV and just making sure I get video and that the DVDs play. I'm not sure when that's going to be. Might be a few weeks, but this is something I definitely like to get going. Definitely going. Perfect. Eject it one more time. Awesome. Well, thank you for watching and hope everyone has a great day.